Hello everybody. So we are excited to announce the three finalists to be considered as a future sire for high desert Labradors. And so uh, we had a few criteria for how we um, pick them. Okay, so one of the, the main things about an English lab characteristic with them is their square blocky head, which doesn't sound an attractive characteristic, mm -hmm. but really it's all about that chunky squareness in their head. So that was one of the things we picked out first. Um, the next one is really the otter tail. And uh, you can see in these a strong, thick tail. <laughs> and that's the other sort of predominant factor that we're looking for for these, for these guys. Um, so they're, they're the two things we were really picking out, um, as well as the, like the normal shape and uh, uh, the colorings of them. Um, so these are yellow labs, but uh, our labs are a lot whiter. So we did uh, look for a white coat in there as well. But actually these boys, it was just so, so difficult to pick them out. Character wise, we could pick any one of the seven, just shut our eyes, pick them out, and we would have had a fantastic sire. But we had to use the breed characteristics uh, for how we want to um, establish our line and for the look of the dog. And that's what we were looking for with these ones. So they, they just edged it on some of the others. Um, <laughs> characteristic wise, like I said, all seven of ours, we're, we're so pleased with them. They're such a good bunch. <laughs> <laughs> and he's running away with the genetic testing results. <laughs> That's the best. We're not going to edit that out. That's too fun. That's too real, isn't it, boys? So without further ado, we're going to talk about who our three finalists are. So we have here Kanye, who has a gorgeous coat. He's a, just a little bit less white than the others. He is a really beautiful golden classic yellow lab coat and he does have that square blocky head we're looking for as well as um, just an all-around even temperament when you see the temperament test uh, video which we actually just completed the temperament test today you'll you'll see uh, what a nice even temperament Kanye has and uh, the second one we chose Who's frog-legging right there? <laughs> Who's frog-legging? It is Khalid. So Khalid is probably the whitest in the bunch. And um, he also has a nice blocky head, although not quite as blocky as Kanye's, to be honest. But also just a really chill, sweet temperament. We um, definitely make sure that any... Um, uh, Labradors that we're going to choose to breed in the future are just the you know the best possible characteristics of the breed to make a wonderful um, family companion and so that is why we chose Khalid and then last but not least Ta -da! we have Prince and so Prince has just classic good looks with that <laughs> broad head and a little more spunky personality and he's just wanting to explore his surroundings right now. But uh, Prince has a gorgeous otter tail and a gorgeous white coat and loves being social with his um, humans. So those are the three finalists to be a sire. And so we had to choose, narrow it down, because uh, we did genetic testing on each of these three boys. And luckily we didn't have to get a blood sample or anything like that. It's just a cheek swab that collects their DNA. And then we send it off to a reputable lab, uh, lab for Labrador testing. And all of these, um, are based on what the American Kennel Club recommends, sorry, um, what the American Kennel Club recommends for um, testing for Labrador retrievers. So these are all genetically linked um, diseases. So uh, let's talk about Kanye's first. So Kanye, First thing I have here is the centronuclear myopathy DNA test. 
I couldn't even tell you what that disease is, but you don't want it and it's genetically linked. And sweet Kanye came back negative for that. So he is clear and uh, there's no way that he would either have that nor pass that on to um, his future potential off offspring. And then the next is cystinuria. So I know there's um, experts out there who will know what this is. I'm sure you can Google it. Um, but Kanye <laughs> was also clear for that. And the next one is de degenerative myelopathy. And this is a degenerative eye disease that can be passed down in generations of Labradors. And happy to report that Kanye also is clear for that. The next one is exercise-induced collapse, also known as EIC, and Kanye was clear for that test as well. And then the next test is something called hereditary nasal parakeratosis. Again, I'm not a vet veterinarian, but that sounds pretty awful, and it's something that we can eliminate that risk by making sure um, that these pups that might be future breeders um, do not carry that gene. And Kanye's result for that was also clear. And then uh, we also did another eye test called PRA, PRCD, which is another degenerative eye disease. And Kanye was also uh, clear for that. And then finally, the coat color DNA test. So um, this is a test that measures um, whether there is a uh, dilute in their um, genetics that would make them likely to have, instead of the nice black nose and the black lining around their eyes, this would make them um, likely to have what's called a liver nose, a brown nose, which you know can be adorably cute, but again, doesn't meet brand standard. Um, or the breed standard rather. And um, so we're happy to report that Kanye is also clear for that. And who should we go through next? So there's no reason Kanye can't be a wonderful um, future sire for High Desert Labrador. So let's go in the same order. Let's talk about Khalid. So Khalid, Hello, mate. I will go ahead and break the news all at once because I don't like pronouncing all these complicated things, but Khalid was clear uh, for everything as well. So all his genetic <laughs> testing came back Yay, perfectly clear and he is jumping for joy about that. And finally, the dog known as Princey Pants. So Prince also came back uh, clear for everything. So again, the centronuclear myopathy DNA test clear, the cystinuria DNA test also clear, the degenerative myelopathy test, again a de degenerative eye disease um, that we can definitely test um, the genetics to make sure that future puppies from these boys would not be inflicted we with that. Uh, that is also clear. The exercise induced collapse uh, DNA test came back clear. The hereditary nasal parakeetosis DNA test <laughs> came back clear. The degenerative eye disease that's called PRA, PRCD, also clear for the gorgeous prints. And then finally, the coat color DNA test. No indication that um, that Prince would have any offspring that would produce uh, liver noses or the light color brown um, eyeliner as opposed to the black um, eyeliner that you would expect. Uh, on a yellow lab. And so honestly, at this moment, we have not made the decision. So we just did temperament tests today. And all of these boys have such amazing characters. We've spent, you know, so many of our waking hours the last few weeks with each of these boys. And um, they are just all super fabulous. So we're gonna have to have a family conference um, to decide which 
one of these is going to be a future sire and that boy uh, will be going home with a local family um, who will be raising that puppy as their own and then uh, when he's about a year and a half old he would be eligible to uh, be a sire and um, at that point, uh, around two years of age, the final thing we have to do is uh, get their hips and elbows tested. So those will be certified by the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals, and that is reducing the risk of them uh, ever having uh, hip dysplasia, which is something that is a concern uh, for Labradors. So. Um, we will uh, keep you posted on our decision, and uh, we obviously need to decide first so the rest of our excited new owners can make their selections. But those are our three boys as potential sires. So, uh, Kanye, Khalid, <laughs> and Prince. <laughs> and it is so hard to decide because they're all gorgeous. Thanks for watching.